Welcome to this class on the sixth chakra. The sixth chakra is located in the forehead, it's the third eye. And the quality of the chakra is all about sight, both inner and outer. So I'll tell you more about it as we come into a meditation. Let's find a comfortable seat. And if you don't mind, I'm going to sit in lotus position or half lotus today, since that is a six chakra position, but you're going to sit with your feet flat on the floor. Sit with your palms upward on your knees so that your energy is going up. The color of the chakra is indigo, deep, deep blue. Close your eyes and look up towards your third eye, towards your forehead. And take some slow, even breaths in and out. Imagine breathing in and out of your third eye. If you like, you can imagine breathing indigo light in and out of your third eye. Our Ajna chakra means command. Our brain is our command center. This chakra is all about seeing both inner and outer. It's about inner knowing, intuition, wisdom, judgment. The color is indigo, the color of a deep, deep night sky. I think of that line that Louis Armstrong sings, the bright, bright something day, the dark blessed night. Think of the peacefulness of that. area of the body is the brain, Our glands in the brain, pituitary, pineal, thalamus, hypothalamus. So you can bring your tongue to the roof of your mouth and gently press, and that will stimulate those glands. And you can continue just breathing in and out of your third eye, or we can take this into Nadi Shodhana, alternate nostril breathing. So if you're going to do alternate nostril breathing, you're going to raise your right hand and bring your pinky and ring finger in. You're going to place your pointer and middle finger on your third eye, and then you're going to use these fingers to control the breath in and out of each nostril. So you're going to close off with the thumb. Inhale through the left side, close off with the fingers and release the thumb. Exhale. Inhale, close off with the thumb, exhale with the fingers. Inhaling, close off with the fingers. Release the thumb. Inhale. Close off with the thumb. Release the fingers. So continue exhaling and inhaling evenly. Alternating nostrils.
and on an exhalation. And just take in the energy of that. We're going to begin to move the nose in the little infinity sign. Remember, we used infinity crossing the midline in the second chakra, because the second chakra is all about the balance of opposites. Let's go in the other direction. Here in the sixth chakra, it's about the integration of opposites. And the word integration means wholeness. So here is a sense of oneness. The pairs of opposites dissolve into wholeness, into oneness. On a physical level, you may be feeling some creaking and crunching in the back of your neck. So this is good for arthritis in the neck. So we have the sublime and the material integrating through our asana practice, our pranayama practice, our meditation practice our yoga practice. Let's come to stillness. Just take in the energy. And let's bring our ear to one shoulder, reach up and over and touch the opposite ear, gently stretching the side of the neck. Breathe into that and let your shoulder relax away from your ear. If you like, during this practice, you can keep your eyes closed and your tongue pressing against the roof of your mouth, your awareness in your third eye. And let's release, bring that hand down. Bring the ear to the shoulder, reach the other arm up and over, touching your ear. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Breathe into that neck stretch. And inhale back to center. Rotate the head, look out. So again, sight is the organ of the body related to the sixth chakra, inner and outer. So soft gaze looking all the way around. Come back to center. And soft gaze looking around the other way. One more time. And back to center. Let's look up past our eyebrows, lifting the front of the head. And coming down, 
Again, you can be looking up and down or the eyes can be moving inside with the eyes closed. One more. And back to center. Let's take one arm and we'll make some figure eights crossing the midline, opening up the shoulder. And we'll figure back the other way. And let's bring that arm down. I'm sorry, I keep forgetting. Palms turned up if you can if you can remember, and we'll figure it the other way. Or I shouldn't call it figure eight when we're talking about infinity. infinity. Did we both do both directions? Can't remember, I think we did. And so sight is the um, quality that's associated with this. So we're gonna do something that's a shoulder opener, a hand um, exercise and a sight exercise. We're gonna bring one arm up in front of us, making a soft fist, looking at our thumb. And then we're gonna open a finger and turn the head as we follow that arm around as far as it will go. And then we'll bring the fingers back in one at a time, following the thumb with our eyes and our head. Opening one finger at a time, reaching back, a little spinal twist happening as well as a shoulder opener, bringing those fingers back in. Following the thumb with our eyes. Last one. Opening our fingers one at a time. Reaching back, shoulder stretch, little bit of a spinal twist. And then bringing those fingers back in one at a time. And down. And we'll do the other side, bringing the thumb up center line opening out one finger at a time as we turn our head and our arm reaching back, teeny bit of a spinal twist coming into it as well. Coming back to center. Inhale, opening. Head and eyes following the thumb. And you might notice as I am that one side opens more than the other. Try to go a little further with each repetition. And then, and now we're gonna do both. So we're gonna use our peripheral vision. We're gonna look at both thumbs and then try to keep the arms in our side vision for as long as possible, reaching back and then slowly coming back in, noticing when the hands come back into your peripheral vision. Ideally, 
They don't disappear until after your arms are completely out at your sides. If they do, then you have some tight eye muscles. Eyes can be exercised just like everything else and your peripheral vision can be expanded. So a soft gaze forward, but noticing our peripheral vision. And down. Let's bring our hands together and our heart, Anjali Mudra. And then we'll bring our thumbs up to our third eye. Just take a few breaths here. Turn that into a spinal twist. Again, the eyes can be closed. I'm just twisting around as far as works for you. Coming back to center. And spinal twist the other way. And back to center. And down. Let's warm up the rest of our body. Coming to sit nice and tall in our chair. Let's come into a little cat, rounding the back. But again, you could be thinking about your third eye and you could close your eyes as you round in and then open your eyes and look up past your eyebrows as you stretch up. Closing your eyes, going inside, inner sight. Inhaling, opening, looking up past your eyebrows, outer sight. Let's come back to center. We'll walk around to one side, coming into a spinal twist. I'm saying walk around, walking our hands around is what I meant. Coming back to center, bringing one arm up alongside your ear. The other hand can be on the chair for support. Stretching over and rotating your head and looking up through your third eye. Inhaling back to center and down. Bring the other arm alongside your ear using the chair for support. Looking up. And coming back and down. Let's take some Marches, picking up our heels and rolling up onto our toes. And if you can have your palms facing up, if you need to hold on to the chair, please do. So there's a wonderful Arab saying goes something like this. A man's eyes direct his feet, but God creates the path. So that's a great six chakra quote. All right, let's just stop and feel the energy in our legs. And we'll pick one leg up and we'll circle the knee.
time we'll circle back the other way. And let's go up and down. And you can continue to hold your leg or put your foot back on the floor if that's better for you. Circling your ankle. And circling back the other way. And point and flex. And then pick up the other leg and we'll open and close. And circle. And circle back. And we'll point and flex. Again, you can put your foot on the floor and do it there if this isn't making you happy. And circle. And circle back the other way. And down. And take it in. So we're going to come to standing. If you can't do the standing poses, please stay in your chair and you'll adapt. You can stand behind your chair if you like. I'll stand at the side so you can see me. So balancing poses are six chakra poses. So one of my favorites, of course, is coming up and rolling back down. Find a spot to focus on, breathing in and out of your third eye. So you can just be lifting your heels if you're sitting on the, in the chair, feeling the calf muscles strengthening. And if you feel safe, maybe just holding on with a finger instead of a whole hand. One more time. And this time, if you can, we'll stay. Maybe just for a second, you can even take one hand off, both hands off even if just for a second. Good job, and down. Take a moment to take it in. And if it's safe to take your hands off the chair, bring your thumbs to your forehead. Breathing in and out of your third eye. Holding on to the chair, let's step one leg back, come to a warrior one. So position yourself so that your front knee is over your heel, the back heel is on the floor with the toe at a slight angle. Draw the belly in and out. If you're sitting, you're sitting at the side of your chair, which can bring one leg out to the side. And if you can, you're going to lift your chest and look up to your third eye. Or you can close your eyes and just imagine looking up to your third eye. Relax the shoulders, deepen the breath. Imagine indigo light.
bring your head back, step forward and step back. If you're seated in the chair, you'll scoot to the other side. And then we'll step one leg back or we'll bring one leg out to the side if you're on the chair. Find your drishti, your focal point, if you can. Slowly lift your chest, looking up through your third eye. And if it feels safe, even closing your eyes, even in and out of your third eye. Feel calming and relaxing energy flooding your whole body. All right, let's come back to Tadasana. And stand here with your hands on the chair, or if it works for you, bring your thumbs to your third eye. Eyes open or closed. And down. If you're sitting, bring your legs to a wide-legged position on the chair. If you're standing, let's step out to a wide-legged position, five-pointed star. Again, you could be standing behind the chair holding on. You can hold on with one hand or you can release both hands. This is Da Vinci's perfect human. Again, you can breathe in and out through your third eye. Bring the hands together in prayer position. If you're not holding on to the chair. And release. We're going to go into yoga mudra. If you need to hold on to the chair, you can turn your back to the chair and reach holding onto the chair like this. So we'll be in our wide-legged pose. Perhaps you have your hands holding onto the chair. Or if you don't need the chair, bring your hands behind you, squeezing the shoulder blades, lifting the heart, looking up. If you're sitting in a chair, you can reach back holding the seat of the chair or the arms. Or if it doesn't work for you to hold your hands, you can cross elbows and just hug elbows. Again, if it feels safe, you can close your eyes. Back to vertical, release the hands, bring back the five pointed star. And then we're going to bring our hands behind us again, either with the opposite arm on top or with the hands interlaced the unusual way. And one more time, squeezing the shoulder blades, pulling the arms away from the body, gently looking up, eyes open or closed even breathing in and out of the third eye. And release. Back to five pointed star and hands to your 
Ajna Shaka, Ajna, Command Shaka. And we can do a few more standing poses for those who are able to stand. So we're going to turn to face the chair towards the seat of the chair this time. I'll stay here so you can see me, but you can stand facing the seat of your chair, your hands on the chair. So forward folds are very much six chakra because it brings the head below the heart. So we're going to step out. Bring our hand to the seat of the chair. Again, let's step a little wider. So if you're sitting, you can just bring your hands down between your legs with the wide-legged stance. Or you can bring, bring your hands to your leg. Take a nice, easy breath. We're going to come into a spinal twist here. Looking up at our thumb, shining light from our third eye. So you're seating, sitting in a wide-legged position, one hand on your leg and the other hand reaching to the sky if that works for you. Shining from your third eye. And let's come on down. And I will walk around to the other side. Bring your hands to the seat of the chair, and you'll just be facing the chair if you like, or sitting in it. And then we'll, next wide, we'll spin our body, look up at our thumb. And let's bring that hand down and walk our way back up. So if you're sitting, bring your feet together. If you're standing, bring your feet together. Come on back up. I want to find a pose where you can rest your forehead. So if you're sitting, you could bring your hands to your forehead, your elbows on your knees. If you're standing, you have lots of choices. Hold on one second. Sorry about that. So we were talking about wanting to have our third eye being feeling something pressing against it. So you were sitting in the chair. If you're standing and you're not very good at standing over, you could use the back of your chair and gently rest your third eye on the back of the chair or even like this. If you're more flexible, you can bring your forehead to the arm of the chair or even to the seat of the chair. Again, you could be facing the seat of the chair. So find a way that you can rest for a few breaths with your forehead. Feeling the peace that comes. Just resting your head, feeling your forehead. And you can gently roll your forehead from side to side. You 
me a little bend in your knees if that feels comfortable. Making this work for you. And we'll slowly roll our way up, taking all the time you need so that you're not dizzy and maybe you need to roll up holding onto the chair. And we'll come to sit back down and take in what we've done so far. And I want to continue with our forward folding. So again, sitting nice and wide in your chair. We're going to come to the corner of the chair, slide one leg back, come over the front knee. Again, if that doesn't work, you're sitting here. And come forward over that leg, sliding down. As far as you can, bringing your forehead towards your knee. And slowly, very slowly, come back up so that you don't feel dizzy. And while we're here, we'll come into a spinal twist. And remember, you could be sitting like this or like this, using the chair to help you twist. Slowly unwind, scoot ourselves to the other side. You can stay here or drop your knee or straighten it back. Bring your hands to the front leg, lengthen the spine and come over that leg, bringing our forehead towards our knee. Breathing in and out of the third eye. And we'll slowly roll back up. Taking your time so you don't get dizzy and then using this pose, pushing against the chair, whatever works for you, coming into the spinal twist.
And then coming back to center, big wide legged. Let's bring the hands behind us once again, grabbing the seat of the chair or crossing elbows or coming into yoga mudra. Let's press into the feet, draw the belly in and up, reach up and breathe out through our third eye. We can turn our body towards one leg and dive over that leg. Lifting the elbows away, tucking the chin, bringing your third eye towards your leg. Inhale slowly up, come back to center. Let's release the arms out. Bring the palms together, hands of Panjali Mudra, and then to your third eye. And we'll do the other side. So you're going to either grab the back of the chair, interlace your arms the unusual way, or interlace your hands the unusual way. Bringing the shoulder blades back, lifting the heart, looking up. And then turning towards your opposite knee and coming forward over that leg. Tucking your chin and bringing your Third eye towards your knee. Inhale back up, coming back to center and releasing the knees. Bring the hands to the heart and the Ajna Chakra. So heel our feet back in. Time flew. <laughs> we shoot, scoot, scoot back on our chair. Palms up on our laps, eyes closed. Coming into Shavasana. And again, if you like to do lotus or half lotus, in the opposite way of what you did at the beginning of class. Awareness, breathing in and out of the third eye as you feel the energy in your whole body, feeling the whole body soft and relaxed, peaceful, integrated through your yoga practice.
and you can stay here as long as you like. But when you're ready, open your eye. Let's bring the hands together at the heart, connecting the heart to the head, bringing the thumbs together at the Ajna Chakra. And the sound for this chakra is Om. So let's take a deep breath in. Um, Namaste.